Just in time to help keep your New Year's resolution to lose weight on track, we're joined by best-selling author, web sensation, and foodie, Lisa Lillian. Already a multimedia phenomenon, Lisa is now set to bring her culinary magic into your homes with the debut of her new show on the cooking channel called Hungry Girl. Lisa, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year. And I should add Happy comedian. To <laughs> I should Wildlife. add comedian Please. to the list of your credits because you have your own special brand of magic that you open each show with. Yeah, I mean, I, Hungry Girl, the Daily Emails, which is how it all started, now a million people are on that list, they're fun and funny. And so I wanted to bring a little bit of that to the show. So yeah. each show is sprinkled with a tiny bit of comedy. And the show is very timely because we're just starting off with the new year. And a lot of people are still recovering from what I call a holiday hangover. A lot of us overindulged. Mm -hmm. And then there are others who have resolved that this is the year they're going to lose weight and make better food choices. A lot of people with New Year's resolutions, they say they want to lose weight. And then like five or six days into the year, they, they ditch them because sometimes what they're planning on doing, the, go the goals are just unattainable. But you say you've got a strategy to help people stay on track now and every day. So explain that a little bit because it's really the premise of your whole show as well, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. I mean, Hungry Girl is not about being extreme. It's about taking baby steps. It's about supermarket survival, restaurant survival, kitchen survival, recipes that are so easy anyone can make them with foods that you have in the fridge or in your pantry already. You've got some great ideas for low-cal food but keeping in the big flavor and you say you're, you can indulge and have all of your favorite comfort foods too as well. You know I watch TV all the time, food TV, whether it's commercials about food, food network, cooking channel and every time I see somebody creating something I say how can I make that yeah. with like half the calories. And each of your shows has a theme and the premiere episode focuses on pizza. When, when it comes to pizza a very thick bready crust is going to be really high in carbs and right. calories and starch. So I either use a very flat bread, a tortilla, a pita and then sauces, marinara sauce is typically low in fat but you yeah. have to read the jars. Reduced fat cheeses and reduced fat toppings, turkey pepperoni. It's another one of my favorite things. Do you say you can have your mac and cheese and eat it too? You absolutely can. Now, I love mac and cheese too, right. so that was one of the things I wanted to tackle. So my mac and cheese ha uses whole wheat macaroni, uh -huh. and then I buy the frozen vegetables that have the cheese sauce right. because those are typically low in fat. And so you just nuke that up and mix it up, and I throw a little uh, Laughing Cow cheese wedges into the mix and you have a big bowl of vegetable packed whole wheat macaroni and cheese. Now you, you say you're not a nutritionist but you have a million email followers, you have a daily website people can go to and check out tips and recipes. What do you attribute all of your success to? I think it's because I'm relatable and that the subject matter is so relatable and I'm a realist. I feel like I'm like everybody else and I feel like I like I want to eat the foods that everybody else eats and I am not a person who loves to be at the gym for three hours a day right. and I think people can relate to that and so the tips just work for most women. Yes. I think that's why they like it. Something you can use to lose. We love it. Lisa Lillian, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. And you can see more of Lisa and how she tackles your favorite foods with strategies to keep the flavor big but the calories low on the cooking channel. And for more of her special tips on how you can eat all your favorite comfort foods without adding pounds, just head to our website at cbsnews.com and click on the health link. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.